It's hard work, you know. I mean, sometimes, you know, I, I'm away from home for weeks on end. It's me in a car, get out, everybody laughs, we're all happy. Hey, I get in the car all on my own again. And I was, I was chatting to my wife about this, and I said, look, I, I don't know what to do. It's starting to get to me. I feel like I want to pack in at times. She said, look, it's understandable. You've got to change your environment. I said, what do you mean? She said, get yourself a pet. I thought, what a good idea. So actually, yesterday, I went to Toys R Us, and I bought myself this little fella here. <laughs> Thanks. I say it's a fella, it's very hard to tell with stuffed toys, to be honest. Um, <laughs> so, you know, so what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to make a name for him by choosing letters. One at a time. Now, obviously, you know, think about what you're doing. If somebody chooses a P, don't choose a P as well, otherwise he ends up with a stutter. OK? <laughs> Chapman there in the, in, in the blue shirt and the medal. Um, so, would, would you give me the first letter of this fellow's name? R. R. Chapman in the second row there, the, the, the Tintin haircut. You. Um, <laughs> <laughs> will you give me the second letter of this fellow's name? O. O. Chapman uh, there with a sort of winter warmer type thing on. Uh, would you give me the third letter of his name, please? V. V. <laughs> We're heading frighteningly towards <laughs> Rover. <laughs> All right. In my desperate attempt for him to have a unique name, I'm not going to be too pleased if it's Rover, all right? R O V. Lady with the blonde hair at the back, madam. Uh, would you like to give me the fourth letter of his name? N. Rover. <laughs> Has somebody upset you today, eh? You decided to take it out on me. I'm going to take him for walks. Rover. Rover. <laughs> e. Rove me. That sounds a bit rude, doesn't it, really? I mean, if I'm in the park taking him for a walk, I'm going, rub me, rub me! I quite like that, rub me. Now, what, what we need to do now is we need to have an official naming ceremony. I'd like somebody to come up and name him. Somebody that would look cute with a dog. Terry, we're going to do a little naming ceremony. I've got the certificate here, complete with a name. I'd like you to hang on to that. <laughs> Shh, please, it's serious. Hereby declare what? That's this. Dead. 15th of November. 15th of November. The staff puppy is officially and legally named Rob Thank you very much. Rob me, ladies and gentlemen. Hang on, hang on. Thing is, I knew I might not get a chance to do this trick tonight, so I, I thought, well, what happens if I don't get a chance to name him? Um, so after I bought him, I, I went next door. I thought I want to treat him like a real dog. So I went next door to, to, to um, Petzerus and I bought him a little bowl and, uh, and some dinner. And then from Petzerus, I went next door. I thought, I'll, I'll get a collar for him. So I bought a collar for him from Collarus. And, uh, and they had a free offer on. They said, if you buy a collar, you get a free little name tag and free engraving. I thought, what the heck, Terry? What the heck, I thought. Let's just get a random name put on there in case I don't get a chance to do it. Terry, this is the exciting bit. You've got to be perfectly honest. Take the little name tag that's on his collar there and just read out nice and loud the name that's written on it. What is it? Rob me! Rob me! Thank you, Rob me!